Electronic braking is possible with the summer board, although it's not recommended. Traditional electric skateboards are so dangerous because this is their only option for braking, and you really have three fail points. The belt can break, you can get electrical interference with the signal from the remote control, or the battery can die, and then you're left with no brakes. Now, you always have the sliding as a brake, and it's a lot easier. It's always there, so it's super reliable, and actually you can brake a lot harder and safer. So always try to use the sliding as a brake. But if you're gonna use the electronic brake, here's how to do it. The back foot weight shift is critical to stabilize your ride, especially during braking. Using any brakes will push your momentum forward, and that's why it's a bit dangerous. You can combat this forward momentum by shifting 80 to 90% of your weight to your back foot. Shift your weight back slowly and roll the thumb wheel backwards. Don't slam it backwards or this will result in slamming on the brakes and will throw you forward even faster. Because of the dangerous nature of brakes throwing you forward, the electronic braking effect decreases as you go faster. So past eight to 10 miles an hour, they really have little to no effect at all. And this is for safety purposes. You definitely don't want to get thrown forward at a high speed. Now it's your turn. Get on your board and master this skill. Revisit this video as often as necessary to keep your bearings throughout the training process. Take the extra time to get comfortable before moving on to the next skill.